Jom belajar sains bersama Cik Gudila. Tapi sebelum tu, jangan lupa like dan subscribe. Hari ini, Cik Guna ajar tentang plant. Iaitu tumbuhan. Chapter 4, Year 4. Bab 4, Tajuk Tumbuhan. Plant respond to stimuli. Tumbuhan bergerak balas terhadap rangsangan. Apakah rangsangan tersebut? Touch, sunlight, water and gravity. Sentuhan, cahaya matahari, air dan juga gravity. Let's see the parts of plant that respond to the stimulus. First, we have shoots and flowers, pucuk dan bunga, respond to the sunlight, cahaya matahari, roots, akar, respond to the water and also gravity. Leaf, daun, respond to touch. We will see one by one of this part of plant, how it react to the Stimulus. First, we have sunlight. The suit and flowers of a plant grow toward the sunlight. Pucuk ataupun bunga dan tumbuhan akan bergerak kepada cahaya matahari. For example, like in this picture, we can see that plant grow toward the sunlight. It is because that Plant need sunlight to carry out photosynthesis. The growth of suit towards sunlight is to make sure that plant can get enough sunlight. Pokok ni, dia tumbuh bunga dia akan pergi dekat cahaya matahari. Next, we have root. The root respond to the water and gravity. For this one, we look to the first one, which is root, go to the water. If we can see in the picture here, the root try to find more water. Why? Because plants need water to prevent wilting and to carry out photosynthesis. The root of plants move towards the water. Next, we have also root, but this time it responds to the gravity. For example, like this orchid plant, we can see that the root going to the ground. So, the root of the orchid move downward following the gravity. The root responds to gravity to make sure that they always grow downward into the soil to get water. Nak dapatkan air. Next, leaf, which is response to the touch. For example, we have this fly trap, and we also have this mimosa plant. Certain plants respond to touch. Respond to touch protect plants from the enemies and the surrounding. So, we have the Venus flytraps. Venus flytraps have special hair that when insects creeping on it, both of the leaf petals will close and trap the insect. So, if you can see in this picture, it will close when insect get into the leaf. For this one is mimosa plant. Pukuk semalu. The leaf leaves of mimosa plant Hold when touch. Bila kita sentuh, dia akan tertutup. Next, we see the basic needs of plant. One is air, water, space, nutrient, and also sunlight. Next, we will see how this basic needs important to make the photosynthesis process for plant. 
So first, what is photosynthesis? Photo means light, whereas synthesis means putting together. Plants make their own food through photosynthesis process. So photosynthesis is putting together the light. How? Okay, but before that, we look over the requirements of photosynthesis. The requirement of photosynthesis, first, it needs carbon dioxide. So the carbon dioxide will absorb through fine pores on the leaf called stomata. Second, it needs water. So the water absorbed through the roots. And last is sunlight. So where does sunlight come from? Uh, sunlight comes from the sun. And it absorbed through chlorophyll. So chlorophyll, the green things on the leaf. Yang warna hijau dekat daun tu. Itu chlorophyll. Next, the product of photosynthesis. First, the product of photosynthesis is oxygen. Oxygen released into the atmosphere through stomata. First, the carbon dioxide was absorbed. And after the process, oxygen were released through the same place which is stomata. Next, the second one is glucose or starch. So, this one is the food for the plant. It's stored in the leaf stem, fruit, root, and also seeds. It used for the growth and formations of flowers, seeds, and fruit for the plant. This is the summary for photosynthesis. So the photosynthesis process can be simplified in the diagram below. Where is the diagram? <laughs> this is the diagram. Okay, you can see here Carbon dioxide will absorb and then it will use the water from the ground and then the chlorophyll and the sunlight is the main source uh, the main source and then after the photosynthesis process it will release oxygen and glucose carbon dioxide masuk water masuk lepas tu process guna apa Kita kena guna chlorophyll dengan sunlight. Sebab chlorophyll tu yang nak absorb sunlight ni. Ha, chlorophyll. Kemudian dah siap proses, dia akan hasilkan oksigen. Dan kemudian glukos ataupun starch. Starch ni kanji. The importance of photosynthesis to living things. Ha, kenapa photosynthesis proses ni penting untuk Kehidupan termasuklah kita. Okay, first it enable plants to provide food. Photosynthesis process menjadi buat makanan untuk tumbuhan. Next to produce oxygen for breathing, we need oxygen for breathing. So from the photosynthesis process, it produce oxygen. Without oxygen, how can we breathe? Kita tak boleh bernafas tanpa gas oksigen and then selain manusia haiwan pun menggunakan gas oksigen untuk bernafas last to maintain the balance of gas composition in air okay that's it bye